Hello friends. Now we will be trying to understand the types of working capital. Types of working capital. Basically, there are four types of working capital. Number one, gross working capital. Now, before understanding types of working capital, it is necessary to understand the meaning of working capital. Now, working capital. It is the capital which is required for day-to-day -day operations. So, it is nothing but the short-term requirement of a manufacturing company. Short-term requirement because, as I told you, day-to-day -day functioning to ensure the functioning of day-to-day -day operations of a company, we need working capital. So, this is the meaning of working capital. Now, as I told you, there are four types of working capital. So, the number one is gross working capital. Now, gross working capital, it is nothing but the aggregate sum of all current assets. So, whatever atoms which are which are which comes under the current assets, and if we take the total of all current assets, it is nothing but the gross working capital. Say, for example, now under current assets, there is a cash and bank balance. Assume that there is a cash and bank balance seventy five thousand rupees. Remember this figure, seventy five thousand rupees. Then second item which comes under current asset debtors. When company sells their goods or services on a credit basis, company creates debtors. Now, now debtors are say twenty five thousand rupees. So earlier figure that is cash and bank balance plus debtor. Now third one is. Prepaid expenses. Prepaid expenses are those expenses which company has paid in advance, and the benefit will be taken afterwards. It is known as prepaid expenses. Now assume that prepaid expenses are fifty thousand rupees. Now, if you take the total of these three items, say for example, if this three item total, if it it if it comes to two lakh seventy five thousand rupees, assume figure might be different. Assume that the all items which comes under the current assets. If it is coming to the two lakh seventy five thousand rupees, it is nothing but the gross working capital. So in short, gross working capital it is nothing but the aggregate sum of current asset. Now the second type of working capital is net working capital. Now what is net working capital? Net working capital it is the difference between current assets and current liabilities. So if you write in a formula, current asset minus current liability equals to net working capital. Now, after knowing the atoms of current assets, similarly we will try to understand what comes under the current liability. So, current liabilities, for example, outstanding expenses, it is one of the atom of current liabilities. Creditors, if company purchases raw material on a credit basis, so they are creating creditors. So, in future they have to pay off this liability. So, it is creditor. So, creditor earlier is uh, outstanding expenses. And bills payable could be a another item of current liability. So this is the current liability. Assume that if current liability total, if it is coming to one lakh rupees, current asset total earlier two lakh seventy five thousand. From two lakh seventy five thousand rupees, one lakh goes. Remaining is one lakh seventy five thousand rupees. So one lakh seventy five thousand rupees is nothing but the net working capital. So in short, it is the difference between current assets and current liabilities. That is known as net working capital. Now, the third type of working capital is permanent working capital. Permanent working capital name itself indicates permanent, which is the throughout the year we need a particular amount of working capital. Whether you stop your production or you are having full swing operations of your company, the amount of requirement remains same. That is known as permanent working capital. Throughout the year, company requires same amount of working capital is known as permanent working capital. Now, for one is temporary working capital, opposite to permanent temporary working capital, which fluctuates according according to the requirement. If requirement goes higher, working capital amount will be higher. If requirement is stable. Then the working capital requirement will be also stable. If requirement goes down, naturally the requirement of working capital will also come down. So it is fluctuating according to the requirement. 
that is known as temporary working capital so these are the four types of working capital thank you